Welcome to the Title Talk Podcast, an interview series featuring key individuals doing innovative things with their business and life. And now, here's your host, Richard Barbara. Of precise speech, right? And, and saying what you mean and making sure that you're conveying the message properly. And so that also applies to the things we write. The things we write. So what do we write on a daily basis? Right? We write emails, we write text messages. We, we post, what do we, we write business? Yeah. Right? Uh, <laughs> right, right, exactly. Uh, you know, we write posts, we write texts, right? We, uh, we send emails. Um, if you have the displeasure of being a litigator like Mike, you, write, you might write motions and things like that. But you got to think about the things that you write down for everyone to see, right? So let's talk about those things. Let's talk about social media posting and precision. Okay. So now, there are a couple areas that I've talked about before, way before, that in my view, in my view, for business, you probably don't want to post about as a general premise, right? Religion, politics, and people just don't like it. Especially nowadays, you could fire up half of your friends, right? So most of all of us have friends on both sides of the aisle, right? And so it doesn't matter what side we're on, we, all, we have friends on both sides of the aisle, and, but if you start posting about it, it could affect your business. Right? But let's forget about politics. Let's let's talk about feel good posts. Feel good posts that also are patently incorrect, and what effect that might have on your business. Okay. So I've been seeing it going around. Who's seen the shark post in the past couple of days? Right, Amelia. What's the shark post about? Let's see if we're talking about the same one. Right, you've seen that? So there's a little shark, it's in a fish tank. I'll show it to you. I blocked out the guy's name. Baby Who posted it? He's, like, He's a baby shark and they put him in a baby tank. So if you see, if you see, I'll just come around quick so you can see it. So if you spot the post, you'll read it. Okay, you see this little shark in a tank here in a little fish bowl, right? They put a little shark in a fish bowl. And it says, it says, a shark in a fish tank will grow eight inches. But in the ocean, it will grow eight feet or more. The shark will never outgrow its environment. And the same is true about you. Many times we're around small thinking people, so we don't grow. Change your environment and watch your growth. Right? So, of course, people read this post. And everyone's immediate reaction is to say, my God, that's so true, right? And it makes me feel so good. And I was, I, for two seconds ago, I was feeling so held back, but now I realize that all of my problems are attributable to this environment I'm in with these small-minded people. And that if I just break the chains, I mean, fuck, I'll be a whale. That's true, right? <laughs> now, now here's, the, here's the thing, here's the thing. Maybe you have to be a cynical guy like me. My, my, I have a friend, dear friend named Jesus, Sebastian knows him. He accuses me of being a glass half empty guy. Maybe it's because I'm a glass half empty guy, but I read that and my first thing that is, is that true about sharks? Like I'm not thinking about my own growth. My first question is, is that true? If I see a baby shark in a fucking fish bowl, is it gonna be a, a baby shark forever? And then I'm like, and then I have a baby girl, so I'm like, is that how the song was born? Somebody had a baby shark? And, and so of course I Google. I don't repost. I don't comment on the guy and tell him, fuck, thanks, man, you're so right, beautiful. Right? You see these messages, people, if you read the comments, people are like, beautiful, sharing. <laughs> sharing, right? And I'm like, sharing. I'm like, I gotta check. I gotta check. I gotta Google. So I read, and of course, it's a distortion of the truth. Of it's, it's absolutely not like that at all. First of all, as a general premise, they don't really tank sharks, particularly big sharks, because there's a whole slew of problems I, I learned about great white shark tanking as a function of this post. So I have to thank this person. Thanks, bro. Now I know a little more about sharks because you're an idiot. Okay, that was one. So, no, no, but then as I kept reading, I found that it's just, listen, it's just false. However, somebody takes this false premise and they package it up like there's a room of people sitting around I'm convinced whose mission it is to make people dumb 
<laughs> okay. and, they, and they prey on the weakest of us, right? And so what happens is that somebody sees that and the message is nice. Ah, I mean, the message is nice, right? It's saying, get out there, be bigger, all this type of thing, but it's packaged in falsehood. So what happens is you get these people, they don't care about the facts like most people. And that's the danger. Now, now we're getting back to the point. Okay, and so what happens is that most people, guys, rest assured that if you post the shark in the tank feel good meme, which happens to be false, the premise is false, eight out of ten people will read it and think you're just a nice person, they're gonna like it, okay? They're gonna give you everything you want except cash money, except cash money. Because the people who might hire you and give you cash money, they're gonna be that glass half empty asshole like me. And they're gonna think, I can't hire this person because this person is an idiot. <laughs> okay, you wanna know why? Because it's just not true. And so it takes somebody who did it, who number one needs that kind of reassurance, okay, which is already not someone that I have confidence in. Okay, that's number one. Number two, they post, they post bad intel. Bad intel gets posted. And they perpetuate the cycle of stupidity. So I'm already like, I can't work with this person. And sadly, the person that posted that is, is, uh, is a lawyer. Okay? So, and guess what? So I'm convinced now that not even if the world were flooded with urine and only this lawyer's office were above the waterline, I can't refer to the case. I can't. I can't refer to the case because I'm scarred with the false shark post. Because you're in the no better business, right? It's not like the guy's a plumber. No, 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 no. This guy's in the no better business. These are people that you hire because they're supposed to know stuff. Right? So, guys, you got to be very careful. You got to be very careful because, again, bad intel, 8 out of 10 times is no problem. 8 out of 10 times is no problem. 2 out of 10 times, it's a problem. And that's usually where the opportunity lies. Right? So, I'm telling you, I'm warning you. It takes all of 3 seconds. And by the way, you can use plain language in the search bar. My search was... Does tank size limit fish growth? <laughs> I swear, and listen, I got everything I wanted. I got comments on this. Oh, there's this meme going around about the shark. Let's talk about this. I got why we don't tank great white sharks. I mean, it's like, it's amazing. And here's why. Here's the ender. Who's seen the movie? Um, no, no, no. The guy with the, <laughs> the, 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 the time machine. Who's seen the movie, The Time Machine? They remade it like in the 90s, right? Great movie. The guy's wife gets killed, his fiance gets killed, so he builds a time machine to go back in time to undo that. And every time he goes back in time, she dies another way. So finally, he goes forward in time to try and figure out the answer, why it keeps happening. But when he, when he pit stops in one future, which is about 30 years like from today, he goes to a museum, and in the museum, there's like this glass panel that's very thin, and as he stands in front of the panel, like a hologram of a man comes out. And he mad, this scares the guy, he's from like the thirties. So he's like this and the guy's like, he's like, hi, I'm the Museum 4000. How can, what would you like to learn about today? And you see him, he's looking at the glass and he turns around like this and there's nothing behind it. And he comes back around and the, the hologram's like, over here. And he's like, what are you? And he's like, I am a compendium of all human knowledge. Ask me whatever you want. And I remember that I saw that with my then girlfriend, my wife, and I said, can you imagine? How awesome if you could go to the museum and have all human knowledge, like you could just ask it. And she was like, yeah, it'd be fucking awesome. Oh, <laughs> now you got it in your pocket. Everyone has all human knowledge and nobody knows anything. <laughs> can you explain that? Everyone has access to everything. Nobody knows a thing. So listen, just double check. Just double check and only post what's accurate. All right, happy posting. Yeah. Thanks so much for tuning into this episode of the Title Talk Podcast. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to subscribe to the show. This way you'll get future notifications of episodes as they become available. And if you feel so inclined, please leave us a review. We sure do appreciate it. Signing off from the Title Talk studio here in Coral Gables, Florida. We'll talk to you next time.